Hello and welcome to my newer X17 Mark II teleprompter review and can I just say, if you're even thinking about buying a teleprompter, just do it. You honestly won't regret it for a second. I've been thinking myself personally about using a teleprompter now for about six months and I nearly pushed the button a few times, but for some reason I always thought I didn't actually need one. After using the newer X17 Mark II teleprompter, that all changed and I could easily record a video in just one go, which has saved me hours every week. You simply look at the camera and read off what you wanted to say in a relaxed way. So come on, let's get into it and I'll talk you through it. As a professional photographer, YouTube is only a little side project for me that I like doing. And in all honesty, I never took it seriously. Until now, that is. And my plan is to post a lot more frequently going forward. And this awesome teleprompter is going to seriously help me there. So if you're like me and you like to talk, or your mind wanders, or even worse, your mind always works at 100 miles an hour, guilty, then you'll love a teleprompter as it will slow you down and give you an exact script of what you want to say and make recording a video a pure joy. So how do you set up a teleprompter? Well, I'll show you how to set up the teleprompter itself, set up your tablet or phone, how to use it and its features after we do the unboxing. So please do feel free to skip through the unboxing section if you don't want to watch it. So come on, let's pop the box open and see what you get inside. And this is what's inside in the box, a flight case for your X17 Mark II teleprompter. So let's pop it open and see what's inside the flight case. So you have two lovely little catches on the front, nice bit of foam for added protection for the screen itself, instruction booklet, and this is the teleprompter itself. Going to take that out and also we have a remote control here too as well. So this is actually not my first time unboxing this. I've actually unboxed this before. I've been using it for the last week and I wanted to have a rough idea of how will it work before I did this review video, obviously enough. So I'm going to show you now how to set it up and what's actually inside in the kit itself. So the first thing is there's a blue locking lever on the side here. So I basically release that and the screen then tilts up along until you get it to the right position. There we go. And then lock it. You can feel it actually hitting home, but it locks in position. So then we just simply lift this up. There's a zip here. What I do is I pull the zip back along. I close that one. There's another one on this side. Pull that back, close that one. Pop this down into position and pull the zip down here and pull the zip down here. Pull back this fella. And that is our teleprompter kind of assembled. So you can mount the camera then on the back here. Now the first thing here is there's a quick release plate so I can just open that so you can actually slide the Arca Swiss bracket backwards and forwards so that helps you position the actual camera itself but there's also another positioning plate here too as well so I can release this thumb screw and slide this whole section backwards and forwards. So the handy thing here is I can actually put this roughly in position and you might think, why do you need to adjust it that much? Well, it depends on the focal length of your lens. If you're using a 24mm lens, for argument's sake, you're going to need to push that a lot closer to the screen. Whereas if you're shooting in a 50 or something, you can actually pull it back if you want and there's scope to do that. It all depends on what you're looking for and the room you're shooting in and the camera angles you're looking for, obviously enough. But again, I've that released. Now the Arca Swiss plate will not release completely. What I do is there's a button here in the back and I click on the push. And now it's free to come off. I can attach that onto my camera and now I have a quick release plate on my camera that I clamp in place and I can just tighten the thumb screw here again and then that locks it in position too as well. Now the other thing is you have a small little bubble level up on top here and you also have another thumb screw on the back there. If I release that you can actually make micro adjustments to the height then too as well of the camera. So I can adjust the height and just simply lock that in position and then move it forward or backwards then again to my desired position. So that's basically how the camera mounts and how you adjust the height and also the positioning of the camera on the actual teleprompter itself. Now the really cool thing here is the X17 Mark II teleprompter will actually carry a payload of up to 20 kgs. So no matter what size camera you're going to put on, this should hold it. 
And then fitting the teleprompter itself to a tripod is very simple. There's a whole lot of mounting options here so you can balance the teleprompter on a tripod exceptionally easily. The one other feature then that's obviously very important to show you too as well is the actual tablet or mobile phone holder. So I can release this fella, slide this out, and you can actually fit your tablet on and then lock it in place. The other things you'll find inside in the box, as you saw earlier, the instruction booklet, the remote control. So I'm just gonna pop this open and basically inside with the remote control you have an instruction booklet too as well on using the remote control itself, but it really is incredibly straightforward. So if I pop that open, throw the book down here, that is the remote control itself. Really simple to use this. I'm gonna show you how to use this and how it pairs with the teleprompter and whatnot in a minute. The only other thing inside here then is the actual cleaning cloth. So you get a really nice cleaning cloth to clean the front display on the teleprompter itself. That's it, let's get into the working. Let's see how you set it up on the tablet. Let's talk about how you pair the remote control with it. Let's talk about how good it is and also the features of the teleprompter itself too as well. The newer X17 Mark II teleprompter features are, it has 71% light transmittance, no chromatic aberrations, you get the app and the multifunction remote control included as standard, the camera micro height and positioning features to get that perfect view depending on the focal length of your lens of course, the Arca Swiss release plate and bracket for your camera for fast setup, carrying case as I showed you earlier supplied, and a maximum 20 kg load capacity. So as you can see here now, I have the teleprompter set up with my tablet down below. Please forgive the camera angles if they're not quite right, but it should give you a rough idea of what this looks like. So to put it working, all you have to do is press the play button here, and then it will actually start scrolling up and scrolling down. Now if I just press play again, it will actually pause it and stop it. Now there's two other sections here, one for arrow up and arrow down, and one marked A plus and A minus. That has to do with the size of the text. So if I press the plus button there now, you can see the text is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So you can set the text to whatever size you want, depending on the distance you are away from the monitor or how good or how bad your eyesight is. And I can just bring that back down along again a small bit. Now obviously too as well, you can also adjust the speed at which it plays back. So if I press the play button there now, and press the arrow up and arrow down, and press arrow up, I can make the text, I can make the text faster, so it goes really fast, or I can make the text slower until I get it roughly around the right sort of speed for me personally and the way I speak. So again, that's gonna help regulate your speech and make it all a bit slower, a bit more relaxed, not like you're after drinking 200 miles of coffee, or 200. <laughs> cups of coffee like I normally sound like and start waffling on like I'm doing right now. So again, it just really helps to control the way you're speaking to camera. It really helps you get across the point you want to get across as simply as possible. Now again, if I press the pause button, the play pause button, and if I press arrow up and arrow down and say, oh, I made a mistake. So I can actually go up and down to the last section. So you can find the section you want and press play from there then again and it will continue off. The quality of this is really, really, really good. How do you set up the app on your device? The newer teleprompter app is very easy to install. Simply go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store and search for the newer teleprompter app. Of course, you can also scan the QR code in the supply documentation, and it literally only takes a couple of seconds to install. You have the option to use a guest account or set up a proper account. I highly recommend you create an account as it gives you 10 megabytes of cloud storage to save your scripts and you can transfer them via your devices. It again just takes a few seconds to set up an account and it's completely free. I write my scripts on my desktop and send them to the app on my tablet as txt files. I find txt files work best for me, which now brings us to how do you transfer files from your computer to the app. Now you can of course create text files on your tablet or your mobile phone and use the app to transfer between the devices, but I prefer to write mine on computer. So how do I add the text file from my computer onto the actual teleprompter app itself? You go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on the plus folder option. 
And then it's going to ask you to create text, so I can actually create a text right now and just type it out. They will work in the teleprompter app. I can upload text from my phone. So if I had something on my phone, I can actually upload it on. Or I can upload via Wi-Fi, and that's what I normally do. So I click on upload, upload via Wi-Fi. Up on the screen then, it's going to ask me then to type in a specific IP address. Now, obviously enough, I have my IP address blocked out here because I don't want everyone knowing what IP address I'm using for my tablet. But you can simply just type that in, which I'm going to show you here now. So when I'm over here on my Windows desktop, I can open out a Chrome window and I can just type in the IP address that's showing up on the tablet, exactly as written on the tablet. And once I do then, this screen is going to pop up. And then I can simply just upload my file. And once I upload my file, it's then going to appear in the folder that I've just created on my tablet. So this then brings us to how do you then use that and get it to show up on the tablet, which is going to show up on the screen here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the default folder, which is the one that comes with a preloaded script for the teleprompter itself. So when I click on default script folder, you can see up on the screen it goes look good and perform at your best, I presume is that. So I'm going to click on that and there it is on screen. Now you have a few different options here on the bottom left hand corner. The second icon from the left is the one that actually helps you swap the text around depending on what way you have your tablet installed on your screen. Because you have to remember it's mirroring the actual picture from the tablet so it needs to be in reverse for you to be able to read it correctly. And you can also change the orientation to as well if you want. And the last button then is for the remote control. So you can switch the remote control setting on and off there too as well. But again, I leave mine on all the time. So I'm in the teleprompter app here now at the moment. And if I want to pair the remote control for argument's sake, if I hold out the remote, you can see there's a blue dot on the remote there now. That means the remote is actually paired to the tablet. But if I switch this off, let that switch off completely and now switch it back on long again. It's not going to automatically connect. So what you could do is you have a few different options. You can see the, the blue light is flashing there now. So if I now want to pair the remote to the tablet itself, I simply go to the top right hand corner and it's connected. And it's as simple as that because of the fact it was paired already. Now, if it wasn't paired already, I just select the pairing option and the two will pair in a split second. So again, really easy and really simple to do. So do I like the newer X17 Mark II teleprompter? Well, to give you an idea of how much I like this product, I want to give it a six out of five star review. As I said earlier, if you're thinking about buying one, then just don't waste any more time. My biggest regret right now is I didn't do this months ago. And also, if you are looking to buy a newer teleprompter, then don't forget you can use my newer discount code, Haze21. I'm going to leave that one in the comments down below and also in the description. So go on, save yourself a bit of money, make life a bit easier, and enjoy producing your videos. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching, everyone, and see you out there. Oh, and if you have any questions, please do feel free to ask them. I'm only happy to help.